hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be making a simple kimono top okay so the measurements you'll be needing you will need is your shoulder bust waist hip and top length and also your sleeve length and round sleeve okay so i'll be making use of this um chiffon fabric it's two yards so let's get straight into cotton note please that you can cut this directly on your fabric the reason why i'm doing it on a paper is for us to see it clearly you can see that there are um prints on my as in there are different colors of my print so for us to see it clearly i'll just cut it on paper as if it's my fabric then i'll transfer it to this fabric okay so the thing the first thing to do is to fold your fabric into four okay so assume this paper is my fabric i will assume that it is folded into four so i'll mark out my shoulder measurements my shoulder measurement is 18 divided by 2 will give me 9 inches so i'll mark that out 9 inches <clears throat> so i'll mark down my um chest line or bust line which you can get from bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 okay so after dividing it i have it but since it's a kimono you know kimonos are three tops i'm going to be using nine you can use nine or you can use 9.5 so i'll use nine since it's a free top okay so i'll rule that out so the next thing to do is to mark down our waist measurement so our waist measurement is 18 from shoulder to our waist measurement is 18 so from shoulder to hip we have to about 27 so this person is very tall so i'll mark down my 27 and i'll rule them out so another thing you have to consider when marking your chest line is your shoulder drop you know the one inch we use for our shoulders line so since i'm using nine for um my chest line plus my one inch for my shoulder drop that is 10 inches so i'm going to be adding it 10 inches so 10 inches is my new chest line so to form our um ammo i'll bring down my shoulder measurements which is nine inches you know shoulder divided by two to mark that out so you drop your shoulder by the one inch you added and connect to your neck okay you can see where the one inch you added is is for the shoulder slant okay so to add our um to mark our bust measurements bust divided by four will my boss the boss i'm working with is 39 divided by 4 will give me 9.75 so i'll approximate it to 10 inches reason is because this is kimono it's very very free so i'll still add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance which will give me extra two inches so i'll mark my extra two inches so for the waist i have waist 40 divided by four will give me 10 plus one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance that will give me two inches so for the hip i have hip 46 which is 11.5 when you divide by four plus two inches one inch for ease one inch for sewing allowance okay so from the hip whatever you have at the hip you mark it down to the hem okay the the um gown length or blouse length i'm working with is 35 so here is 35 whatever i have here i'll mark it down there this is 13.5 so i'll mark 13.5 your ruler you connect everything so this is the hem to the hip straight ruler I added one inch 
to the blouse length so instead of 35 i have 36 here to hem it okay so from the hip to the waist and from the waist to the bust so you um you contour any sharp edge you blend you blend out any sharp looking edge don't want it to have a funny look okay so now for our ammo curve whatever you have here measure out what you have on this line after deducting your one inch okay whatever you have on this line i have nine inches divided by two will give me 4.5 inches so 4.5 inches you come inside by half inch you come inside inside this box by half inch okay so from this half inch to the top you connect it's a straight ruler and from this half inches down to um down to your bust measurement you connect with your ammo curve if you don't have ammo curve you can use your hand just curve it out okay so this is what we have so for the neckline i will be using um 4.5 by 4.5 okay so you can use any 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 of your anything you want okay so i'll use 4.5 by 4.5 for the front please for the front so for the back i will use one inch 4.5 by one inch for the back i hope we understand this pattern i'm using it for both front and back so I will use my curve ruler to curve this out and to curve this as well. Okay, so it's as simple as that. This is what we've done. So if you're cutting it on your fabric, the back should be on fold, okay? The back of the dress, the back of the kimono is on full. There is no opening. It's the front that will have opening. So I'll cut this out now and I'll tell us what next to do. And I'll go ahead to cut this now. If you're cutting, please cut the back neckline first. You know, it's, it's not as deep as the front. So guys, this is what we have. This is basically a basic um, bodice without that. So guys when transferring to your fabric please remember to add your half inch for shoulder joining okay so i cut the both front and back together so i'm going to separate them now and trace out the front neckline so guys um for the front i'm going to do a little bit of alteration okay so instead of a curved neck i'm going to be using a v-neck okay so I'll just bring it down to um down to my chest line. So instead of a curved neck, I'm going to be using a V neck because I'll be adding another fabric here. You will see it when we are cutting. So I'll be adding another fabric there. So I'm going to be reducing um the front the front measurement by a quarter inch okay i'm going to be reducing it by a quarter inch so i'll cut this is what we have so i'll use my paper now to trace it on my fabric okay so after cutting out the neckline i told us we're going to be adding a long um, a form of finishing bodies with this clothes like a bias finishing okay so guys I have two inches of about four inches in weight so the length 
we'll join it because it's not enough so we'll have to join you see all this when we are sewing it so we'll keep this aside so the length of the sleeve is 13 plus one inch we have 14 the 14 will be the one inch is for hemming allowance so you mark it out okay so from the edge from the top you come down by four inch for average person for a very big person you can come down by five inch so there is a formula for calculating sleeve cap height this is a sleeve cap height is both divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 inches so you will get your actual um sleeve cap height okay so um when we were measuring our arm oh we got nine inches okay so i'm going to measure nine inches as in the bus divided by six bus divided by six plus 1.5 when we did it okay so this is nine inches from there i'm going to make a curve that will reach there okay just make a curve like an inverted s okay like an inverted s so now this is where your arm o measurement comes in you're going to measure this curve to make sure that it's up to the 13 inches that you measured on your sleeve so this is 13 here so the round sleeve we have is six inches but i'm going to be adding extra two inches to it because it's a free sleeve it's for kimono so we have six inches plus two that's eight okay so i'll connect from here to the eight and here you have your sleeve okay so i'll cut out so this is what we have i'm going to be using this to transfer to our fabric so guys after cutting the sleeve you give it a notch up here to know your starting point okay so let's move over to the sewing machine so guys to sew this the first thing to do is to match up your front and your back shoulder so this is the back and this is the front shoulder match them up and sew the two shoulders so i'll do that now then this is my sleeve i'm going to hem the i'm going to hem it the bottom of the sleeve okay the hem part of the sleeve i'll hem it match up my shoulders okay so guys after hemming and joining the shoulder the next thing to do if you have your serger is to um serge the shoulder because i'm using um lightweight fabric that's chiffon so you need to serge it to avoid fraying okay but if you don't have your serger you can um use bias or anyhow you want to finish your dress okay so then i'll fix my sleeve around the arm or area okay so this is my sleeve i've hemmed i've hemmed the down part so i'll fix it to the ammo area so guys we have gone ahead to um fix my sleeve join the shoulder and fixed my sleeve so and i also went ahead to finish it off with bias okay my seda is um messing up so i have to improvise so if you don't know how to finish off you're ready to wear or any cloth you're not using lining with um, um different techniques of finishing them off i have a video on that okay so i'll put the link in the description box below okay so um this is for neat finishing okay so um the next thing to do is to close up the side so remember we left um one inch for sewing allowance when we were cutting we added one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance so i'm going to be using my one inch for sewing allowance to um to finish this off okay so the next thing to do is to um to finish off the front 
and hem the down parts that's the last thing we're going to be doing so you see this all this neckline we need to finish them up and that is the reason why we cut out this um long strips okay so because our the the fabric is not long enough we have to join this first so we're going to join this right side facing each other you join your strip so that it will be the length will be um long enough so after joining it now you fold it into two like this so this is where we joined we joined the back side so we are folding it into to make sure you're joining the two joining um the two edges matching where you joined it so this joining now is going to be at the center back but if your fabric is long enough you don't need to cut two and two. You just cut a very long strip the the measurement the length the measurement for this strip the length is all the um both front and the back neckline so this is the this is the one side of the front so you measure from the down the bottom of um the dress you measure it straight so you measure it right round okay even the back neckline you measure it down okay so that's the length that you will need so because mine is not long enough i'm going to um notch the center from um the center back rather so i'm going to place the two shoulder equal together so that i can get the middle part the center of my back okay so this is the center i will notch it that's where i'll be placing that's where I'll be placing my, um, the place I sew. Okay, this place, you can see that I held it down with the pin. So this place is going to go to my center back. So please note that um, this place is the right side of the fabric. So you're sewing on the right side of the fabric. So this is the right side of my fabric. I will just place fold my um it's folded already my my strap strap or strip is folded already so i'll just place it making sure that the 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 sewn part is on the notch okay make sure the sewn part is on the notch so you pin down so for to to be on a safer side start sewing from this center part down to to this other side then you go when you come back you continue to the other side so guys after sewing um i have some excesses left so i'm going to trim that off so guys after cutting out my excesses um you need to use your sedger or any other um finishing method to finish off the sewing allowance here we can't just leave it raw like this okay so after doing that then you hem the down part so i'll do all this now and i will show us what we've made on the mannequin please give it a good press so guys this is what we have made okay so i went ahead to put fashion belts on it so i'll remove the fashion belt to for us to see so this is what it looks like without the fashion belt okay so give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful like share comment okay see you guys in my next video bye